Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. You know that feeling. You've just finished a meal, whether it's a big dinner or even something light, and suddenly you're craving something sweet. It might be ice cream, chocolate, or even just a small piece of candy. But where does this craving come from? Why do we feel the need to indulge in sugar, even when we're full? In today's video, we're going to dive into this common, sometimes puzzling behavior and unravel why we often reach for sweets after eating. It's not just about willpower or habit. There's actually a complex interplay between our biology, psychology, and cultural influences. And once you understand the science behind it, you might even be able to curb those cravings, or at least manage them better. So let's explore why sugar becomes the star of the show right after a meal. Right after you finish a meal, your body shifts into digestion mode. But here's the thing. Digestion isn't a simple one-step process. Your body breaks down the food into essential nutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, which are then absorbed into your bloodstream. When it comes to carbs, they're turned into glucose, a type of sugar that gives us energy. This spike in glucose causes your blood sugar levels to rise, which triggers the release of insulin. Insulin helps regulate blood sugar by allowing glucose to enter your cells where it's used as energy or stored for later use. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? Well, not exactly. Sometimes after eating, your blood sugar can drop suddenly, especially if your meal was carb-heavy or if you ate very quickly. When this happens, your body's natural response is to seek out quick energy, and nothing is faster than sugar. It's your body's way of trying to correct that dip in blood sugar levels. In other words, the craving you feel for something sweet after a meal could be your body's biological reaction to fluctuating blood sugar levels. The idea is simple. Your body wants balance, and sugary foods provide a quick, easy way to bring those levels back up. Now, let's talk about the brain. Our brains are wired to find pleasure in certain things, food, social interactions, even accomplishments. But sugar? It has a special place in the brain's reward system. When you eat something sweet, your brain releases dopamine, often referred to as the feel-good chemical. It's the same chemical that's triggered when we experience joy, excitement, or pleasure. And sugar doesn't just release a little dopamine, it causes a surge. This dopamine spike is why sugar can feel almost addictive. After a savory meal, your brain might signal, hey, we want a little more pleasure here. So you reach for dessert. It's not just that sugar tastes good. It's that your brain is conditioned to associate it with a reward. The more sugar you consume, the more your brain starts to link it with feelings of happiness or satisfaction. And here's where it gets tricky. The more you indulge that craving, the more your brain starts to expect that post-meal sugar hit. Over time, this can become a habit that's hard to break. Of course, we can't ignore the cultural and social aspect of dessert. For many of us, the idea of having something sweet after a meal is deeply ingrained. Think about it. Special occasions like birthdays, weddings, or holidays often end with dessert. Even a simple family dinner might conclude with a slice of cake or a scoop of ice cream. In many cultures, dessert is seen as the perfect conclusion to a meal, a way to signal that the dining experience is complete. So, part of why we crave sugar after a meal is that we've been conditioned to expect it. It's a social cue, something we've grown up with. Over time, this cultural norm becomes a personal habit. You might find yourself craving sugar not because your body needs it, but because it's simply what you've always done. After a meal, your mind expects dessert because that's what you've learned. It's almost like a ritual. For many people, sweet foods are tied to emotions. We use desserts and sugary treats to celebrate, to comfort ourselves after a rough day 
or to reward ourselves for a job well done. This emotional connection can amplify those sugar cravings after a meal. Have you ever noticed that the cravings for sugar can be stronger when you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed? That's because sugar gives you a temporary mood boost, thanks to the dopamine release we talked about earlier. It's almost like a quick fix for emotional discomfort. But relying on sugar to manage emotions can create a cycle where you start craving sweets every time you need a little comfort, even after a meal. And once that pattern is set, it can be hard to break. So, now that we know why we crave sugar after a meal, what can we do about it? Let's talk about some strategies to manage these cravings. First, pay attention to the types of foods you're eating. If your meal is high in refined carbohydrates, like white bread or pasta, it's more likely to cause a spike and crash in your blood sugar levels. Instead, try incorporating more fiber, protein, and healthy fats into your meals. These help slow down digestion and provide more sustained energy, which can prevent those post-meal sugar cravings. Next, consider portion control. Eating smaller, more balanced meals throughout the day can help regulate your blood sugar and reduce the intensity of sugar cravings. Finally, don't forget the role of hydration. Sometimes what we interpret as a craving for sugar is actually just our body's need for water. Try drinking a glass of water before reaching for something sweet and see if the craving subsides. It's important to remember that craving sugar after a meal isn't inherently bad. In fact, it's completely normal. The key is not to let those cravings control you. You don't have to deprive yourself of something sweet if that's what you want. Instead, practice moderation. If you're really craving dessert, go ahead and have a small portion. Sometimes just a few bites are enough to satisfy your sweet tooth. And by savoring those bites mindfully, you can actually enjoy the experience more without overindulging. So, why do we crave sugar after a meal? It's a combination of biology, brain chemistry, social conditioning, and emotional factors. Our bodies seek balance, and sugar offers quick energy. Our brains love the dopamine rush, and culturally, we've been taught to expect dessert. The important thing is to be mindful of these cravings and find a balance that works for you. The next time you feel that sugar craving hit after dinner, remember, it's not just about wanting something sweet. There's a whole science behind it. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.